He won't fall. He says, now maybe you'll admit that you're getting older. I said, I'm, <laughs> I said, I might look older, I might sing older, I might walk older, but I'll never admit to getting older. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. I have one leg that's probably about twice the size of the other one. <laughs> Today, yes. right? Yes, you well, do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's not funny. And <laughs> <laughs> Why do people laugh when you fall down? I don't know. That's not my girlfriend, funny. My girlfriend was, she was, her and I were appointed when we were in, in school, in grade school, to go get the school pet. And so we went and bought two goldfish, or three goldfish, at Woolworth. So we were carrying the goldfish home in their bowl, and we were going to the library to get out of the rain. And she tripped and fell all the way down the stairs, and the goldfish bowl broke, <laughs> and the goldfish were flopping all over, and obviously we had failed miserably doing our job. And I stood there and laughed till tears were running down my, <laughs> on my face, on the, onto my clothes. But I don't know why that's so funny. But here, what? <laughs> he didn't get hurt, though. <laughs> I would have felt bad if she'd have gotten hurt, but she didn't. Yeah. Do you think it's nervous? I don't glad? know. I guess they're just so glad it's not them. <laughs> It's so embarrassing. I think they're embarrassed for the person that falls. And I think they're, you know, I, I think it's just an embarrassing, embarrassing thing. And so they're embarrassed for the person that falls. And they're embarrassed to be seen the person that fell. And uh, yesterday, Mona and I were uh, at one of the stores. and Hi, Mona. Mona. And Mona, Mona Lois, nice to have And you Mona back. fell down. And I told her and that there was nobody around. I said, that isn't fair, Mona. You're supposed to fall in front of a large crowd. <laughs> so I thought we should probably go out and try it again out in the middle of the mall, you know. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's nice to have somebody to catch you if you fall. Yeah, that's and, uh, true. I tried. I know you did. Tried. You tried with all your heart, honey. Yeah. And you sing Lean on Me and... <laughs> you're supposed to help each other, right? Yeah, right. Well, we have special guests with us today. Troy Beyer, here from the TV series Dynasty. And we have also with us today Mike Atkins and Dr. David Lewis and Bob Johnson, who's <laughs> fired. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go on. Can we stop this program? No. Please. Once it gets going, you oh, can't. You've got to keep moving. I'm not, I'm not doing well You're today. You're doing fine. Let's just move on. Just move uh, on? Yeah. We got some. Yeah. Let me see. What have we got? Tours for today. <laughs> Hanover, Pennsylvania. 40 with, people. Stand with, up, folks. I sponsored that. You yeah. sponsored that? Eleanor did. Well, see, where are they? <laughs> there they are. Way back up there. <laughs> there they are. I Eleanor. wonder how Eleanor got <laughs> separated from her tour. Well, Oh, you Are you all mad at Eleanor? <laughs> I, I have How come my you're leg... not sitting with her? What's the matter with you, Eleanor? Jim, I have my leg off up to my hip. But I... I... I, I had three I'm not going to ask her about that. My leg. But anyway... The camera's that way, hon. Oh, I'm sorry. You're putting your best side to the camera. <laughs> there we go. There anyway, we go. I have an eight, I'm eight going home. nine song here. I taught them on the way. Can okay, we sing it? Yeah, Do I have to say? Oh, they're going to sing for us. Now you're going to sing and I'm going to face the camera. Oh. Sing! 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 Eleanor, go for it! How can they... What? What? Okay, There's no mic go. up there. Wait a minute. Wait. Eleanor! Okay. I got to have a mic. Give me a mic. I got to have a well, mic. They can all come down here and sing right around here. The way we've been falling? Are you kidding? <laughs> There, I'll, I'll hold the mic up here for you. I'll be a mic stand. <laughs> I want to go the home. I could have never gotten up. There, here. Well, I need to get back closer there? to them. Would, would, where are you from? Down. Would you be a mic stand, sir? <laughs> Just hold that up like that. Yeah, who's the best singer in the world? <laughs> All right, Eleanor, we got okay. a mic. It's amazing what crazy can do. It's amazing what crazy can do. Hallelujah. I don't worry when things go wrong. Jesus puts in my heart a song. It's amazing what crazy can do. Oh, 
I got a present? Oh, praise God. This will help the day go better, yeah, probably. Yeah, now you open it. Open I it should up. open it? Open it. Says, open that this present. is what I always wanted? I made those. You oh, made this? For you and Tammy. Oh. Oh, Tammy, too? Oh, sure. Oh, I thought Oh, it... I couldn't do without Tammy. <laughs> I love her. Oh, it's just oh, what I, I always wanted. I oh, I love them. Hangers. Oh, <laughs> You're going to have the pink and white ones, and I'll have these. Oh, I love them. Thank you. Thank Good. you, Eleanor, Good. so well. They keep, you. I love them. I want a kiss from you, too. Oh, all right. Well, you got a lipstick on this there. side. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I kid you, of course, you know what I thought they were singing? What? And, and, and I, 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 I thought, it's amazing what crazies can do. <laughs> It's amazing what crazies can do. Oh, yeah. I thought it meant kind of like what crazy people like us can do. You know, it's amazing, you know. But it's amazing what praising can do, and that is, that's good. That's a great song. That's I like good. that. good. Did you write that, Eleanor? No, I can't claim that. Oh, you can't claim it. All right. All right. All right. All right. You, want, you want me to help you sit down? Oh, I have to really <coughs> okay. There you are. Thank you. Whoa, good. 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 Oh. <laughs> Told you we should have stopped this program like and started Eleanor. over. <laughs> Thank you, Eleanor. We love you, too. And if Paul I said it's not too late. I remark about you, I tell them about it. Right. Believe me, I tell them about it. something here. It's raining, it's miserable. Let's get mad. It's amazing what praising can do. It's amazing what crazy <laughs> can do. <laughs> Woo. Oh, my goodness my. gracious. Yes, I'm going to. I can yeah. feel it bubbling up in me. I do. I like that song. You give it That's to me. That's good. You can have it. <laughs> now I got some hangers. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Frank Gamble. Okay, well, well, is he I on the rain or? Probably. Okay. He's over at a real interesting new spot he at is. Heritage okay. USA. Okay, all right. At where the angels are. Oh, angels. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so wherever you are, Frank, come in, please. Well, summer's come and gone, and the young people are back in school, and it won't be long till the cool days of autumn will be upon us. Right now, we're at the backside of our Heritage Island Mountain at the Heavenly Mining Company, where a gang of little people have taken up residence to gather riches that one day we'll find in heaven. They're a hard-working group spending 24 hours a day, seven days a week, laboring and for only pennies a day. And just like these little guys, we're digging in for a great lineup of fall events and activities planned with you in mind. Watch. For the experience of a lifetime, don't miss the Heritage Passion Play. See Christ's final days here on earth brought to life in the spectacular setting of the Jerusalem Amphitheater as he defeats Satan's plans once and for all. Performances of this greatest story ever told take place Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 8.30 p.m. And before the play, drop by the Jerusalem Marketplace for some shopping fun. You'll find some great gift items, from candles to t-shirts to furniture at the Shopper's Paradise each Wednesday through Sunday from noon till 9 p.m. Then for some more great bargains, take a trip behind the mountain of Heritage Island to the new location of the Goody Barn. It's a 30,000 square foot shopper's wonderland with discounts from 70 to 90% on brand name clothing, jewelry, books, and a whole lot more. Take advantage of these great buys each Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. till midnight and on Sunday from 1 p.m. till midnight. And if you like auctions, then the place to be each Saturday evening at 7 p.m. is the auction barn at Heritage USA. Join Bob Johnson and the gang for some great deals on items of all types, and all the proceeds go to help pay for Fort Hope and Kevin's house. Then just because the summer's over doesn't mean you and your family can't enjoy a water wonderful time at Heritage Island, our 21st century swimming hole. Surf's up during the month of September, each weekday during the afternoon hours, on Saturdays from noon till 7 p.m., and on Sundays from 1 to 6 p.m. So come on down. And come on down for some great Christian entertainment at Dinner Theater in the Grand Hall. Tonight, a special performance of the musical comedy with a message, Love Came Down, 
followed tomorrow night with the humor and music of Bob and Jeannie Always. Then next Monday, the PTL Lovebirds return on their regularly scheduled evening at 7.30 p.m. Followed Tuesday with an evening of patriotism and praise called Musical Heritage USA. Sing America Sing hits the stage on Thursday with Love Came Down rounding out the week on Saturday with a 12.30 and a 7.30 performance. And for some more great entertainment, dance on down to Heritage USA, September 6th and 7th for the All-American Clog Dancing Championship. Competition will take place Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. and on Sunday from 1 p.m. to 8, all in the auction barn, so don't miss it. And don't miss a great evening of praise and worship at Camp Meeting USA. This week, Carl Richardson will be ministering, followed September 8th through the 12th by evangelist Bob Gass. Camp Meeting USA begins at 7.30 p.m. each evening in the Barn Auditorium. And are you an aspiring singer, dancer, or entertainer? Then come and be a part of the weekly PTL Talent Show. Join host Brian Keith each Sunday at 8.30 p.m. in the Buffalo Park Amphitheater for a great time of fun and fellowship. Who knows? You might even win. To be a part of the show, just call Carla at 1-704-542-6000, extension 2227. And ladies, the time is near for the next PTL Women's Conference. Topics from cooking to fashion to beauty tips will be discussed with special guest speakers like Vestal Goodman, Rev Ev, and Tammy Faye Baker. So make plans now to be with us September 18th through the 21st. For more information, call 1-704-542-6000, extension 2227. And the PTL workshop schedule continues during the month of September in the Grand Hall. September 4th through the 6th are the dates for inner healing, followed on September 7th through the 9th with another session of Marriage One. If you'd like more information on these workshops, call Vias Vito at 1-704-542-6000, extension 3017. And it's not too soon to begin planning to join us for a celebration of Christ at Christmas City at Heritage USA. Opening day is November 1st, and we're planning the best opening yet with an electric light parade, music, and more. So come and join in the fun at Christmas City at Heritage USA. All the guys here are waiting to see you. In fact, they said they wouldn't mine at all if you'd pay them a visit here at the Heavenly Mining Company, part of this year's Christmas City celebration. If you need more information on any of these events or activities that we've mentioned, give us a call. The number is 1-704-542-6000, extension 2100 or 2227. And if you need holiday reservations, call 1-704-544-8100. Call today because they're filling up fast. Of course, you could stay here. The guys say they dig having you. From the back of Heritage Island Mountain at the Heavenly Mining Company, I'm Frank Gamble. Thank you, Frank. Henry, has Frank been going to your, has, has he been going to your school of phonology? I think Henry Harrison's uh, <laughs> teaching Frank a few strange things. Oh, uh, through just a few, well, he, I would say one thing. He really digs it, boy, I tell you. He catches on quick. The, the Heavenly Mining Company is something, see, it's year-round, it, and it's on the back of the oh, mountain. Oh, that is so cute. And uh, oh. what it is, it's uh, little angels, and they're mining uh, things that are found in heaven. Uh -huh. Gold and silver and pearls and <laughs> crowns, and they're all in, up there on that hillside mining. So we call it the Heavenly right. Mining Company. And it's behind the uh, island there. They all, you ought to walk hey, Jim, I've heard it. of being so heavenly minded that you know earthly good. Is that the, where that comes from? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's getting Sorry, worse. Turn his mic off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you audio people working with him now? Is it hot in here? No. I'm cold. Hot. How many are hot? It is hot in here. It's freezing cold in here. Just want to check. <clears throat> We have started, I don't have a hot Christmas City <laughs> starts early this year. Now, I know people are going to accuse us of, of rushing the season, but if we don't open Christmas City early, everybody can't see it. That's right. So we have to do it. We've had capacity every year, and so we expanded it, and this is as far as we dare expand it. So we have Christmas City November, December, and January, three full months. We call it Celebrate Jesus. <laughs> and uh, we, we are... Jesus people, and so we, we just celebrate Jesus. So on November 1st, uh, we op they're putting up Christmas City right now. I noticed the big trucks are in the, in the streets now already, putting the lights into the trees. A million and a half lights, maybe a few more this year. And so it takes a lot of work to get this up. And uh, starting November 1st, and we're starting with a celebration electric light parade 
on November 1st. So if you want to come and be here for that, uh, the mayors of our local city, Mayor Harvey Gant of Charlotte will be here, and uh, Mayor uh, Powers will be here from Fort Mill, and uh, Tammy's old friend <laughs> from WEZC Radio, yes. Chuck Boozer, yes. is going to be is here. Is he going to be here? Yeah, he's yeah. going to be in the Chuck's parade. hanging around here quite a bit lately. Yeah. He better watch out. <laughs> And, uh, you know, Don DeFore, who was, was on the Hazel program and also many programs, he and his wife will be here in the parade. Don and Marion DeFore and Rex and Maud uh, Amy Humbard are going to be in the... it's not a parade and that's Rex and Maud Amy. No, they have to be they in every parade. They have to be here. And uh, Gail Storms of My Little Margie also will be in the parade. And also... Our good the, friends. The captain yeah. of the love boat, Gavin McLeod, yeah. and his wife, Patty, will be in the parade on... November 1st. <clears throat> it will be the biggest Christmas celebration we've ever had. Is this the first Christmas parade we've ever had? Or is no, it? No, oh, no, well, what no. Is it? We had one when we opened the Grand. We had a victory parade. This year we're having two parades. We just had you one. Like parades, you like parades, don't you? I love a parade. <laughs> and uh, I haven't asked Roe Messner, but I asked his foreman. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Put a camera on. Roe Messner's here of Messner Enterprises. He's going to get you in trouble, Ro. <laughs> commercial builders of Wichita, Kansas. Ro, I asked Bob, and he seems to agree with me. Now, you plan to top out that tower on the uh, November 9th or something like that. Now, I asked him. No, I begged him. <laughs> Could we, him, not, honey. <laughs> could we not, could we not, I know we've got a lot of rain, but if they'd pray this rain away, could we not try hard to top that tower November 1st and the night of that electric light parade, we could put the biggest tree we could find in the woods on top of Heritage Grand Towers and, and you can light the switch. I said you could be here. I'll let Ro Messner flip the switch and light up that, the biggest tree in the forest we can find on top of the Grand Tower. Because in the building trade, it is a uh, tradition that you put a tree on top. Isn't that right? When you top it out, as soon as you get to the top of the building, you put a tree up. Isn't that right? Now, but, that's the way you've got to shake your head, like up and down like that when Jim says, will you do it? Now, <laughs> can, can we do it? Woo! Can we try for November 1st? Will, will we make it? Okay, we'll top that tower out by November 1st and turn the lights on top of that tower with the biggest tree. We're gonna get the biggest tree we can find in this part of the country. So uh, Bob said he'll actually have to put the big bolts in the concrete of the roof of the Grand Towers to hold it up there. And then every year from then on, we'll have an, a, a tree on top of the tower from then on. They, they'll be able to see it for miles. They'll actually be able to see it from downtown Charlotte. I was up on top of it yesterday. I climbed to the 18th floor. That's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. And the 18th floor is the very top at this moment. We're going to 21 floors. We have three floors to go. Right. So I climbed up the top of that thing. You can see forever from up there. You can see the mountains. You can see... Uh, what mountains? Uh, <laughs> what is it? Nanny's <laughs> Mountains or Granny's can Mountains? Can you really? You can see... Uh, That's a long way away. Grandfather's, Grandfather's Mountain. Mountain. You can see... Uh, what? Grandmother's Mountain. <laughs> Crowder's Mountain. You can see Cousin's Mountain. And I think if we had a clear day, we could even see the, the foothills of the Smokies. I really oh, do. Oh, Jim. Oh, I do. <laughs> you're up there. You are up there. How about there. your eyesight? <laughs> I can see far away. <clears throat> I knew we should have started this program over again. <laughs> well, I... Let's what, move right along. <clears throat> well... <laughs> <laughs> let's, let me, let me, let's quick talk about sure. the Farmland USA will uh, officially kind of open in about a few days. We're not sure the exact days with this rain, but uh, the farmhouse is almost completed. The, uh, the barns are completed. The big red barn is done. The petting zoo barn for all the wonderful animals. Oh, I had a picture I wanted to show you. Tammy did not believe it. Uh, Where did I, I put those pictures? Well, I think that's the kitchen table at home. Anyhow, <laughs> she doesn't. But we have a long-haired cow, a curly-haired, long-haired cow with, and that has horns. And I only thought bulls have horns, but cows have horns too. And uh, it's the cutest cow I've ever seen in my life. I didn't We're know. We're gonna punk him out. 
<laughs> Where did you learn that kind of yeah, terminology? Yeah, they say, you know, you punk out. You know, you spray the hair and, you know, I'm, and it's called punking out or something like that. Isn't it, kids? Oh, yeah. Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Paul fell at the sign. It's not too late to start over. <coughs> Paul! <laughs> I'm too tired to start over now. We've come this far. Let's not turn back. Oh. But the, the bunk houses are going. The walls are already starting to go up on the first unit. Now, the first club members in the Family Heritage Club, we're going to allow you to use, since these are being built in units, and about of 16 bunks each, bunk rooms each. And uh, so the first members will get to use the bunk houses first. If it stops raining, we hope to have the first unit completed within 90 days. And the first, the first uh, members will, of course, be able to use it first. And it sleeps six people, and it's in the name of the member. So you can bring your grandmother, your grandfather, you can bring your, your, your grandchildren, you can bring your neighbor, as long as you're there. It's, you, you can't sublet it. This is a Christian campground, and you're giving a gift of $500, and you get to stay there three days and two nights every year the rest of your life. And it's a tremendous, tremendous thing. It is going to be the most fantastic era. I think it'll probably end up being our most exciting part of Heritage USA. It, uh, it's one mile long. Farmland USA is one mile long. And uh, I don't know how wide it is. It's, it's uh, perhaps a quarter of a mile, half a mile wide. And so it is a tremendous, beautiful area with pastures, horseback riding, all the... Uh, Tammy, what are you doing? <coughs> all the well, I knew you'd be there for a long time, honey, so I decided to take a chair. And uh, all the buildings from the old 1800s farm. You know, and uh, plus you get a wonderful group of benefits. You get admission to the, all the things at Recreation Village, like tennis and roller skating and miniature golf, Olympic pools and all free when you have a membership in the family uh, club here. And if you'd like to do that, you can do that right away. Now, this unit that's going out first is just a, just a few feet away from Kevin's house, just a little ways over. This one is on a little creek, this first unit that runs into Lake Carolyn, which is right in front of, of Kevin's house. So it's a, in a beautiful setting. And uh, there, you, there you see the picture of it on the screen. We were supposed to have uh, a list of, of uh, pictures that we were going to show. Nothing has gone right on this program, and why should I expect it to go right now? We showed them as you talked about it. Oh. You did already. You already showed them and didn't tell me. I saw some up there. You saw some. Well, those are some of the things of the farm <laughs> and the barn that you saw. Hold the sign up again, Paul. It's not too late to start over. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Here's the newest house, by the way, that's going up in Farmland, USA. They call it the boarding house at Farmland. And this is actually a beautiful mansion, and it is a place for single retired people to be able to purchase their own efficiency apartment. The, this is filled with 30 efficiency units. And it'll be right next to Kevin's house there at, uh, over by the farm. And it's a beautiful Victorian mansion. It's for people who would like to retire in style. And the people own their own unit. And they can sell it or they can will it to their children or whatever. We don't make it come back to this ministry because we just believe that people ought to have the integrity and uh, the respect to have their own place and to be able to will it to their children if they want or to whatever they want to do with it. It's theirs. Building a heritage for themselves, a lifetime of heritage and for their children and grandchildren. And uh, so that's the way we do it at Heritage USA. And this is a beautiful place. And so this will be started in just a few days and I don't expect any of those to last beyond uh, a week or so after people get involved with those. So uh, this is going to be something very beautiful over at Farmland. And um, we have Kevin's house, then the new church, the new uh, country chapel goes in right down the road from this on the lake. And that's being built by volunteers. And we already had a businessman say that he would donate all the materials. And he's also going to help build it. 
volunteers that help build the big barns and some of the things are going to help build that. So there's a blueprint of the country chapel, a little white clapboard church that is going to be having prayer meetings and Bible studies over at Farm Village. And uh, the beautiful place that you can stay, sleep six people, has uh, double sink area, sink in the room, in the bathroom, and outside in a dressing area so a whole family has a little easier chance of getting ready than, than just having one sink. And uh, the color television and furnishing, it's just a neat, neat place. It's going to be first class and quality in the country style. You're going to love it. Now, what we're going to do, this is specially designed because there were families who just said, Jim, we just don't have $1,000 and we haven't saved $1,000. We weren't able to join the towers and all those memberships are gone. All the memberships are gone in the Heritage Grand Partner Center. And now these are going so fast. Yesterday, just in this studio audience, do you know you took almost 200 of those memberships right here? And there's only going to be a few thousand of them. Uh, <laughs> this crowd went wild yesterday as uh, we're just introducing this, this new a family heritage club and here's what you can do I remembered and I, I was thinking back when Tammy and I were a young couple I was 21 she was 18 we made $60 a week there was no way we ever saved $500 ten years later we still hadn't saved $500 let alone a thousand dollars even today there's times when I don't have a thousand dollars you know so I got to thinking there's a lot of families that can't be a part of this and the people that we wanted to help especially retired people and people uh, young couples uh, we wanted them to be a part of this and we're believe me not making any money off this we don't plan to make any money off from anything we do all we're here is to serve people and so we're going to open this family heritage club the first time we've ever done a lifetime membership in this way to anyone who wants to make a pledge of five hundred dollars and you can make your gifts any way you want to. You could do it at $50 a month or $25 a month or $10 a month or $5 a week or however you want to do it. And then when you have your $500 gift in, then you will have a lifetime membership. Now that's limit of just two memberships per family. So you can stay a total of what is that? Uh, what is that? Four, uh, five days and four nights uh, the rest of your life for a gift of a thousand dollars so say if you want a single membership or a double membership and Tammy just gave me the eye that says shut up and go on with the program <coughs> I'm too I long did right not. yes you did oh. you know you how did. could my eye say that would you sing this song <laughs> somebody touched me I better get out of here so far somebody does right? that's what <laughs> no she touched me with her eyes. She said, Jim, you're boring us all. Well, somebody has to do the business here, right? right. To keep this place going. And so if you can call right now, 1-704-554-6000 and make your pledge. They're going to go on the first come, first serve basis. And uh, you can use it when it's all in. You cannot use it, though, until you've paid your entire pledge because not everybody follows through on what they say they will do. Or write me, just uh, Jim Baker. Uh, and if you want to write Family Heritage Club and uh, you will have a wonderful lifetime membership. You can have a single membership for $500 or a double membership for $1,000. Only two memberships for families so we can let more people get involved. There will be a limited number of these beautiful units built and you're going to be right in the middle of the action at Farmland USA, just a few hundred feet walking from the new ministry center, the beautiful Crystal Palace the million square feet center where we'll have a new 5,000 seat broadcast center and a 30,000 seat Holy Ghost Hallelujah Breakdown Camp Meeting Center, two big auditoriums, one that seats 18,000 and one that seats 12,000. And you will be in the middle of the action, but yet you'll be in a quieter place where you can ride horses and horses and buggies will go right by your streets there. And uh, on the back side of your unit, you can park your car, but then on the other side, in the farm, only horses and buckies inside the farm area. So you'll have the best of both worlds there. If you want one, first come, first serve, put your down, say, Jim, I pledge the $500 and I want to be a part of this. Call me today, let me know you're going to do it or write me right away. 
because I take 60 to 90 days for they're all gone. I, I'm wondering now if it won't be more like 30 days before they're all gone. So the lifetime towers went faster than we expected. The grand went, by the end of the grand, they were all gone, and now uh, the tower's gone, and now these are going very, very rapidly. But we want everyone that's possible to be a part of Heritage USA. In honor of Country Village, Tammy's going to sing a little country song now. Is this sort of a country song? Yeah, kind of. Sort of, of a country sounding song. Somebody touched me. Thank you for the day that somebody touched me. Jesus reached down his hand and forgave me of all my sins. Such a joy. Many years he walked in darkness as he groped along the street. His hand stretched out for pennies. Or just a bite to eat. It's the story of the blind man who met Jesus on his way. And with the master's touch, the man looked up as the scoffers heard him say. Yes, I love that song. Praise Somebody Lord, touched man. me. Oh. Well, Mike Atkins, it's nice to have you back again today. It's good to be here. <laughs> Appreciate you being here at Heritage all week long. And Dr. David Lewis, teaching seminar. Nice to have you here with us, Dr. Lewis. Good to be here, Jim. Praise the Lord. And I know the people are enjoying all your, your seminars. We're having a great time. We have with us today Troy Bri Bi <laughs> Byer. Boy, I'm really doing it today. <laughs> And uh, she portrays Jackie, 
on the hit show Dynasty. And <laughs> Tell us about your role on Dynasty first. What? You're, aren't you, is it Diane Carroll's daughter on yes, there? Yes, I play Diane Carroll's daughter and Ken Howard's daughter. And uh, th this is such an interesting story. Uh, I was just, I was reading in a magazine that it said that, that your babysitter at one time was Whoopi Goldberg? Yes. <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I'm serious. Was she a fun babysitter? She was wonderful. Oh, I bet she was. She wasn't really a babysitter as someone that my mother hired. She was our next door neighbor and when oh, my wow. mother would go out I'd prefer to stay with her as opposed to someone else. Oh my land. Did she influence you in any way? Oh yes, in a lot of ways. <laughs> Boy did she. <laughs> she um she was just really a funny person. Really funny. So she's she's really funny off stage as well. Yes, yeah, she's naturally <laughs> funny. It's not something that she decided to do one day. She can't help it. <laughs> well you, you go to go to Crenshaw Christian Center, and which is a marvelous church. Their yeah. program's on our network, by the way. And how did you end up in this very charismatic, spirit-filled yeah. church? Oh, I was blessed, ah. truly blessed. I was with my friend, and I been, I was a Christian, but I wasn't a practicing Christian, you know. And so my friend said, Troy, I heard of this great church. It's going to take us three hours to get there by bus. <laughs> But it's worth it, and the service is only 45 minutes, so it takes me six hours to commute to church for like a 45-minute um, service, but it was so worth it, and I started going, and, and Pastor Price is just such a wonderful vessel for God to express himself through, and he just really ministered to me, and you know, when the Holy Spirit takes over, there's no stopping, you can't stop it. When did you find the Lord as your Savior, honey? In 1977. Is that right? How, what were the circumstances surrounding it? The Lundstrom family. They really? Were, yes. Nolan Connie. My dad had grounded me. I went to Bible school with them. Yes. <laughs> They're wonderful. Yes. They're very wonderful. My dad had grounded me, right, um, uh -huh. because I'd gotten home late from a party or something. And so um, he made me stay home while he went out. And there was nothing to watch on TV. And, and the Lundstrom family's Christmas special came on. And um, I was just really moved by it. Aww. And I accepted Christ along with them on the TV. That is wonderful. Wow. It's oh like my! Lately, all my guests have found the Lord or been touched through television, television. and uh, makes me want to stay on. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's really what did it for me. Yeah, that is terrific. I know Lowell and Connie are thrilled with that. You said something uh, that we as Christians need to be willing to what come down off the mountain and go into the valley to. Yeah. What, what? What? To reach well, people? Well, I just what? remember a story in the Bible where Jesus was on the mountaintop and he didn't want to go back down. And I, I think that we'd all like to stay up there. Yeah. You know, a lot of people say, why do you associate with people who aren't Christians? And the Bible, God says, it's not the ones that are Christians that need you. That's right. You know, and so I think that we have to come off the mountaintop and go into the valley and minister and live our lives and be an example for those who haven't found Christ. Yeah. Amen. Mm. You know, we, we for some reason have met so many people from Hollywood and, and New York and people who really want God, people desperate for God. And it just seems like sometimes the church hasn't been willing to reach out to the actress, or the actor, the writer, the screenwriter, the producer, the directors of the plays and, and motion pictures. And yet you are the people who are molding so many lives. And I really think that uh, we need to go where people are. Yeah. I'm glad you're where people are. Yeah, I am too. Uh, <laughs> I enjoy it. It's a blessing. Are there, are there things, you know, when you're an actress, I'm sure there are a lot of things that you'd rather not do or say because you're a Christian. Has that happened to you on the part you're playing now? No, it hasn't. It, it hasn't. hasn't? It has never happened. It has never happened to no. you. Is that right? Yes. What do you attribute that to, honey? I think that what you believe is what you receive. I don't believe that I'll have to ever compromise. I think oh, that once yeah. you make up your mind not to, that you won't have going to. to. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. What about Christian fellowship? Yeah, yeah, we have to have fellowship to survive. Yes, you do, and it's very difficult. It's very difficult for me to find Christian fellowship. Um, I go to church regularly, and um, it's just so hard to find 
um, Christian friends that are my age that are cool and not boring. You know, yeah. I mean, <laughs> most of them are really boring. <laughs> I hate to generalize, no, but, but I know. Uh, you know, they think that you can't go and you can't have fun. Jesus said, "I died so you can have life and have it more abundantly." You know, and Jesus partied with his disciples. This is my kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> and so, with I, I just rather stay by myself than to be in the company of someone that I don't enjoy. Mm -hmm. And I haven't found. How old are you? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. <laughs> you know, where does it, you know, say that that uh, to serve God is is to uh, be on the shelf, you know. Mm -hmm. I find when you are in touch with the Creator, you literally become creative. Yes. Uh, and life takes on a whole new meaning. Yes, I agree. The, you know, the Christians that are around me, I, I don't know, but I must be around a strange group. Like that song I thought <laughs> a bunch of crazy. But it's amazing what crazy can do. But it is amazing what a bunch of crazy people that love the Lord can do. But. Like, you take Dr. Lewis here, sitting here. Now, he looks staid and, and, and dignified, and he's mm -hmm. not. Yeah. And, and more. <laughs> but, you know, and Vi as Vito, and, and Howard and Vestal, and Bob and Jeannie. I'm just picking out the people yeah. that are right around. These people, now, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. These people are ready to go at the drop of a hat. <laughs> if I'd say to Mona and Dave, we, were in, we go to Israel again. And I'm telling you. They, everybody says the food's awful in Israel. Not with Dr. Oh. Lewis, the food is not awful. There's the finest restaurants in the world in Israel, yes, if you know where to find them, because he knows where to find them. But, like, if I said to Vi and Eddie Aziza, I said, uh, uh, we'd like to go to, uh, anywhere, Canada tonight to the World's Fair. Would you go with Everybody us? Oh, yeah, we'll go. <laughs> I have power and vessel. You know, I said, would you guys go? Oh, sure. You know, we took, uh, who was it we took to one of these Christian, oh, uh, of Christian uh, youth things? Oh, it was Doug Olam. Doug yeah. Olam, you know, stayed. He was, he's one of these, you know, uh, that in his early years, he didn't want to get involved with any contemporary Christian music. But uh, now they're just saying, I said, would you go to a concert? There's a bunch of kids performing, and they're Christian kids, but it's, it's a little wild music. So, so sure. And he, he didn't, even, he had his, he had, he was working around his house. Yeah, they didn't change their clothes or anything. We just went, you know. <laughs> And uh, I find that, you know, Christians who really know who they are, they're just not afraid right. to identify with people. Well, Daniel, you know, the Bible says that he wants to give us joy unspeakable and full of glory. Yeah. And what is unspeakable joy? It's something that just wells up within you that just comes. It's, just, you, it's so wonderful you can't even talk about it. And that's what he has done with, with uh, so many here at PTL. He's given us just an, a joy unspeakable and full of glory and a really fun bunch of people who love Jesus and love to have a good time. Well, you know, uh, Mike, the, the guys down in the, the coal mine, mm -hmm. they all don't say, how are you today? <laughs> they may they? say a few other words to say <laughs> Yeah, quite often. There's and, a... But yet Jesus would walk among them. Yes, Jesus would be right down there with the miners and say, I love you. Well, our town's not like y'all. You know, California, Charlotte, uh, those large cities. Our little old town, for fun, we go watch the Piggly Wiggly truck unload. <laughs> go watch haircuts, you know. No, man, but, but you're right. Uh, when I, well, that's a big event. <laughs> when, I got to, when I got to know people... What town is that? <laughs> West Frankfort, Illinois, the greatest town in Illinois. That got me back in good at home. I yeah, hope so. yeah, we hope so. When I got to know people like Dr. David and, and had the great pleasure, really, and honor of meeting a lot of people in the ministry, Dr. Price I've met and many others, I found out, I kind of wondered about him, you know, but I found out they're such fun. And I think yeah. part of the reason is they know if they died today yeah. right. where they'd yeah. be. Amen. That's right. Eternity. And there's a great yeah. inward peace that allows you to have that. Dr. Lewis, you, you may even have some problems. You've gone through a lot of physical problems. But you're the funnest person. <laughs> kind of funnest. That's not the right word, is it? <laughs> but Dr. Lewis is more fun yes. to be with because he's always, even when he was in pain, going through some problems, <laughs> and help her, yep. he was saying, let's go. Let's go see another mountain. Let's go climb another ruin. Let's go find another restaurant. Let's go do this. You know, and I think when you have heaven, I think Mike's hit on something. I think when your final destination is heaven, even though the road's a little rough sometimes through here, you can make it. That's yeah. it. Isn't that right, Dr. Lewis? Do you feel that? Right. They accused Jesus of associating with sinners. Yes, they did. I think of what was once said of the great English novelist Oliver Goldsmith. He touched nothing that he did not adorn. In a higher and much nobler sense, that was true of Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 
They didn't drag him down. That's right. Oh. He lifted yeah. them yeah. up. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's what God wants us to do. And Jim, it's fun for our neighbors too, you know. They know you're peculiar. <laughs> yeah. If you allow the Spirit of God to have first place in your life. And it's fun to watch it. They just... You know, you see the curtains kind of moving. It's more fun to serve God than anything I ever found about. Sure, yeah. <laughs> They're saying, what are they up to now? Yeah. I bet your neighbors do that. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I got good neighbors. Yeah. Troy. I understand. Troy just, um, moving right along. Troy, you, did, did you not just sign a recording contract? Yes. I'm singing oh, now. Singing. You're a singer? Yes. You're doing everything. God hasn't cramped your style a bit. Yeah, it's so funny because for a while my dad would pay me not to sing. <laughs> <laughs> pay you not to sing? Yeah, I should say, Troy, please. How much do you want for your allowance? It's doubled now. But there was a time when I really couldn't sing, and, and I just kept praying. I said, oh, Father, it's something I want to do so bad. Uh, I just want to sing. And one day I, I just I started taking voice classes, mm -hmm. and I started working at it, and I started confessing mm -hmm. my singing ability, and um, I'm recording with George Duke, who's that a very good producer. Yeah. Yeah. When, when Tammy was a little girl, her uncles paid her not to talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't appreciate that. Did they run out of money? No, isn't that true? <laughs> no. That is true. You, you told me that. You a nickel every five minutes that I keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I can't believe now I'm being paid to talk. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you ever get a nickel? Huh? I got nickel, lots of nickels. I did did. You really? It was probably the hardest thing I ever did, but I got, I made nickels because I wanted that candy so bad that I'd shut up, and then the minute that five minutes was up, boy. <laughs> we've been, we've been uh, taking automobile trips this year, and, and usually we fly, but this year we've been taking automobile trips with our family. And Jamie Charles is 10, and don't t you dare tell him I said this. But I want to tell you, mm -hmm. he is... He must take after his mother. He oh, come on. Dad does pretty good. No, but I mean, he, he never stops talking. If we're 15 hours in the car, he never stops. He has a repertoire of jokes that little boys, 10-year-olds... Oh, really know, gross out jokes. Gross jokes, you know, oh. uh, that 10-year-olds learn. And then when he's through with that routine, he starts it all over again. <laughs> But he never stopped. And we had his friend with him this last trip, his, the neighbor boy, and he's nine. And he never stopped And either. he never stopped. And I mean, and Pam would say, stop talking. And then they go, <laughs> and they're whispering. And that was worse, because then you're trying to hear halfway what they were saying. Oh, so, uh, it's amazing. So if somebody's paying you to, to not talk or sing, just don't give up. <laughs> you may be a talker and a That's singer someday. Right. <laughs> oh, my. I don't know. Did we do anything on this program worth uh, social redeeming value? <laughs> we talked to Troy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, probably. Mike, Mike would do something. Mike, I bet he could. Well, I had a, I, you know, God has told me the most, I guess, of everything he's ever told me. Today, he gave me a pearl of wisdom. And the problem is, we don't have time for me to share it. Oh, <laughs> oh Mike. No, He's kidding you, folks. I'm joking. I'm a... <laughs> Mike, go sing. Do you really want to Yeah, yeah. I had two voice lessons in my life. Did you? Yes, and I quit because uh, I wanted to play baseball. But I was so slow, I wrote the book, 80 Days Around the Bases. <laughs> oh. Oh, Mike. But Mike, I, go but sing. I'll sing. I'll sing. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lewis. Why Mike is going to wherever he's going. Uh, 80 days around the bases? He's going out in the yard for he some just, reason. I think he's just leaving. Yeah, I think he's walking home. <laughs> uh, I don't blame him. I should have stayed home myself. <laughs> Dr. I Lewis, is did. there anything new happening that, from the Holy Land? Anything new? Yeah. Do you have five hours? Yes. Let me tell you one thing. <laughs> yes. In March, I walked into a small room where there are 81 stone tablets covered with Hebrew writing, and for two hours, two Israeli scholars explained to me why they believe this is the original book of Ezekiel, not a copy. The book of Ezekiel from the hand you of the You saw Bible. it with your own eyes? I have photographs of it. Oh. Can we see it? Yes. Will you show the photographs on our program? Sure. Oh, that's exciting. I, I have Sweet. promised not to reveal the location, no, the scholars involved until they're ready. 
And they Are promised the films me? Are valid? Yes, I have them with me. Could we see them this week? Sure. On this program? Tomorrow. Okay. I have them here. And I have them in slides and prints both. Okay. And in confidentiality, because I know these men very well for many yes. years. Yes. I will not reveal the place for security reasons, nor the scholars, because the, all of the work is not done to, to give the proof. But when they're ready for the news to be broken, they have promised me that I will have exclusive rights outside of Israel, so we'll tell it right on this oh, program. Oh, when the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered, and that was copied, they're still writing books about it every month. Yes. Well, yes. If this is accurate, I mean, if it's true, we don't know for sure yet. But it's at least the oldest copy of anything in the world. That is exciting. Well, and the story behind it, Jim, unbelievable. You know, the thing that I love about what Dr. Lewis does, he just keeps bringing us more and more material. It's an confirming, exhaustion. Confirming, really, the yeah. coming of the Lord yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. In the authenticity, of course, of the Word of God, which we all believe in. But, but it's, it's so very exciting. And if Dr. Lewis hadn't dared to stick his neck out. Dr. Lewis is a friend to Israel, I can say that, yes, yes. and a friend to politicians and leaders and historians that are not of his faith. And if he hadn't said, I will go among people because I love them, and they feel his love. And I think that's why if I go to Israel with Dr. Lewis, we have carte blanche. We can go anywhere. They let us behind walls, behind diggings that nobody else gets to go to. And uh, it's because he has won the hearts of people by loving them. And I think this is what Jesus would have us do. Yes, it is. And it's time that we start loving and let the love of Jesus be seen. Uh, okay. Mike, they, sing this song. Jim, Messiah. Also, they know they can trust us. That's important. They know they can trust us. Yeah. That's so important. Yeah. You know, Troy said, you got to come down off your mountain yeah. and reach that's people right. where they, they are. That. And uh, that's what our that's Messiah, right. Jesus, yeah. has done. Mike, sing it for us. It's a beautiful thought, Troy. This song deals with a praise meeting. It's going to take place very soon. You will be there, and the speaker will need no introduction. They shall call him Messiah. To the Lamb sacrifice they shall sing. At last they shall behold him. No more shall they reject him as a king. mighty throng they'll be singing in the spirit and the spirit will give the song hallelujah they shall call him The Bible reads, every knee shall bow before him. And on that great day of praise, no matter what country, what religion, every single tongue shall confess that Jesus is the Lord. He's the Jesus 
Mike Adkins, one of the PTL family members oh, here that we just appreciate so very, very much. I think he's got one of the greatest tenor voices I've ever heard. He's so anointed with the Holy Spirit. Tammy, I got a, a beautiful letter uh, from Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, and they sent a check to help us with the ministry as they do continually. And uh, they ordered the tapes and Dale said to me, she said, Jim, the message, you can be forgiven, was the best I've ever heard. Aww. And she wanted those three messages. And uh, remember, for a gift of $25, we want to send you those three messages. The church must forgive, tell it not in gas, and forgive and be forgiven. If you'd like to have a set of those sermons, it could change your life, literally make the difference between heaven and hell. Write and ask for those sermons. And remember, for the Heritage Family Club, you can uh, pledge the $500 and then just give $10 a month or $50 a month, however you can do it, as you make that pledge. Because we want you involved with your Heritage, Heritage USA. Our operators will be there at the phone throughout the day and night. God loves you. He really does. Thank you, Troy, for coming to be with us. Bye-bye for today. Yes, to the Jim Baker program. Stay at the beautiful Heritage Grand Partner Center. To make your reservations, call 1-704-544-8100. Eastern Airlines is offering discounts up to 50% off for anyone traveling to Heritage USA. Call and make your reservations today. 1-800-468-7022. In Florida, dial 1-800-282.